that was a long time ago. But it was like for like Mother's Day or Valentine's Day. It was Valentine's Day. I was like, well, these were like on sale. Uh, like, <laughs> did you pretend to uh, like them or were you just like, did, did you pretend to like I'm like, oh, they're nice.
not not if that's a good rule of thumb. Sign. Um, but what is I mean, we'll do every single aisle you know. for every single item in the grocery store. I will literally walk up and down every single aisle and look at every single item. If they have it, will I find it? Yes. Yes. Is it gonna take a long time? Yeah. Yes. But a heuristic would be like, what's a good like fastest way to do this? I might not get the right. Yes, that would be an awesome one. Or to narrow it down. Like, like, look at like the aisle, aisle and be like, oh, it should be in this. Right. Place. Oh, it's the pet aisle. Probably not going to go down that route. Oh, it's the dairy aisle. Probably not going to. Oh, it's the cookie aisle. I know that horse radish is not a cookie or dairy or or it's in the pet aisle. So I'm going to skip those aisles. That's a good, that's a good guess to skip those aisles. Asking someone is a heuristic. Um, but does anyone know what aisles I might go down? Condiments. Horse radish. Okay, condiments. It's a morning headline. But if you're all like horse radish, radish, maybe check the vegetables. And so it's like maybe you'll check vegetables, maybe you'll check condiments. If you're going to find it in the condiment aisle, <coughs> that's a good rule of thumb. So if we have these letters, on scrambling all of them, and then like what is it? What is the word? Psychology. In psychology, of course you probably figure that out because I don't think Katarina Pete you went through all 900,000 wait 907,208 combinations. I doubt you did that in your head. You probably just looked up the ology. Yes. And like context clues of like we're in psychology. Um, but yeah, heuristics are going to throw all, all double Y combinations right away and also look at context clues uh, because there's no English word with two double, or double Ys. So, um, yeah. Yay. Yay. Oh, or like, hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, so here is my heuristic thing. Um, it says, what is a heuristic? It says, it's rules of thumb, it's best practices, it's common sense, uh, intuitive judgments, um, but not trying every single aisle. Like, don't go down the dog aisle to find horseradish. All right, but there are two types. Don't we my heuristics? Yeah. There are actually two types of heuristics. Representative heuristic and availability heuristic. Now, this, these two words are always tested against each other. And they are tricky. Okay. Yeah, I just have an example. Okay, so, um, representative, representative heuristic is like making an educated guess, making like common sense judgment based off stereotypical answers based off of like stereotypes and based off of like what is the best representation of this thing. So um, like making judgments. So it's like a generalization. Yes, but they're both generalizations. It's just like give like an example but without giving like one that I've used on a test. Um, Tracy is a kindergarten teacher. She loves little kids. But you said she and it's saying Tracy was a boy or Tracy was a girl. Tracy is a boy. But based on your representation of like it's a kindergarten teacher, Tracy is probably more of a female name than a male name, and typically kindergarten teachers are women, and you assume that Tracy is a girl. Well, like, uh, I, I remember, like, last, a couple years ago, there was an FRQ, and the FRQ was, like, so scandalous because the prompt was, like, um, it was, like, Alex and Sam are uh, moving in together, and everyone's all like, <laughs> uh, but it's not like, and they didn't even talk about like, and then at the end they said, um, and and he or something, buzzes it up, whatever. And it's all like, they're gay. But like Alex and Sam, you might think Alex is a boy and Sam is a girl. Or you might think Sam is a boy and Alex is a girl. You might think they're both girls or they're both boys. But it depends on like the representation of a boy. Of, family, a uh, relationship, what that looks like in your head. So like making judgments
face off.
that's the thing about heuristics. It just saves you time to be like, nerd, pick, loser, whatever, prop out, like, whatever. It's really easy to label people, but you could easily be wrong. Like, just because someone's like, in like, ag, does not necessarily make them like, yee yee. Um, and just because someone is in band, doesn't make sure that, like, doesn't make them like, I don't know, they're very socially active. Um, every year, every year, um, and uh, what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they, they are. That's what. The, I mean, that's what fans are known for forever. That y'all are the first ones to be like, make it. But like, y'all are y'all are not, and we'll not be the last ones. Make it up. Wait, and walk the room or whatever it is. Hello. Okay. okay. So I. <laughs> So, uh, last time, like, uh, I used to learn like, glasses a little bit yeah. because I had some like really bad glasses. And, and stuff. You don't have to like explain why you need glasses. I'm sorry. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyways, while I was wearing them, like people would like ask me more questions. Yeah. Yeah. Like they thought I was smart, so I was wearing glasses. Yes. It was really weird. <laughs> yeah. Cause I mean, like in high school, I was like, okay. I'm still short, so I have been the same height since high school. But I was like so very awkward and nerdy. Like bad hair, glasses, no makeup, did wax my eyebrows, got a uniform going. Um, it was just bad. And I didn't like no very bad. Um and I just didn't know. I was just like, <laughs> um, and then people would be like, Can I cheat off you? And I'm all like, Why do you you're yeah. assuming I'm smart because I have no friends? I'm like, like I'm wrong. not smart. <laughs> Nor am I popular. Ah! So that was fun times. So um, availability heuristic is different. This is what's on your mind most available to think about because it is maybe talked about a lot or it's recently talked about a lot, but it's readily available on your mind because of what's the word I'm thinking of? It's most recently talked about. Yeah, it, it's recent events. Yeah, it's based off of recent events. Yeah, it's kind of like your recency effect. Uh, based off maybe recent or talked about events. So it's the stuff you think about. Yes, not because it's stereotypical, but it's because maybe it's talked about a lot. So if I was, okay, I just had you draw a nerd, and we're not going to do this. We're not doing this. I'm just saying that if I was to ask you to do this, if I was to ask you to draw a terrorist because of recent, and not even all that recent, because of events in the past that are either like highly talked about or it's recent, I have a 99% chance you're going to draw a Muslim. Not because all Muslims are terrorists. No, not even close. Um, but because it's recently talked about. And it's talked about a lot. So, um, I was gonna draw a creeper. Okay, uh, so which place, and now you think like you know that the answer is kind of like the trick question type of thing. Which place are you more likely to get mugged or killed or murdered? The Bronx, and then I have like this creepy picture of like a Bronx alleyway, or Gary, Indiana. It's Gary, Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana is the murder capital of the United States. Mm -hmm. It is super shady. Um, what happens at murder and muggings? Um, <laughs> we'll call it in the end. It, why is the butthole of the, of the United States? That's where Michael Jackson was born. Yeah. Um, but like, you, you know, you drive through and you're all like, locking doors. I mean, it is, it's some shady. Uh, but like, the Bronx is actually really nice. Good schools, nice place to live, um, good average salary. But we're talking about in Gary, Indiana, it smells like garbage. But even I though the Bronx like looks really like super sketchy, sketchy yes. but we know that Gary Indiana Yes, is but if I had like a movie of like some thugs like in a gang and I threw them in Gary Indiana, which is much more likely that like a gang would be here and be like up to no good, you'd be like, that's not super cool. Like that Gary Indiana, there's gangs in Indiana, yes, more than the Bronx. But then representation you take the Bronx. Don't say Representation. Available. Representative. No, if we no, if this was representative, we'd pick the Bronx because of the way it looks. In the picture. But how is the Bronx like that? It's not. 
the answer to the theory in it, but because we see movies of like, oh, it's crime in the city, and like, oh, you know, they're like in the alleyways, like with shanks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, you think, you think of like New York City and like whatever, but New York's actually very clean. Well, I mean, um, <laughs> the Bronx is relatively clean, um, and, but, and then you think that nothing eventful has happened in Indiana because I would have heard about something. It would have been all over the news, but typically when we're talking about crime, they're in a big city like New York.
And so that leads us to be pretty overconfident and therefore wrong a lot of time. It tends to overestimate the accuracy of our judgments. We think that we are better at making judgments. We think that we're more correct than we usually are. Um, like you guys, uh, most students are overconfident with how quickly they can do assignments. You guys do this all the time. I can knock this paper out in an hour. Three hours later. <laughs> or whatever y'all write about. And so yeah, like, I can read this chapter, you know, in 30 minutes. Two hours later, you're just opening up the book. Um, y'all are really overconfident in your abilities. Most people in here think they're above average intelligence. Most people think that they're going to graduate college. Only half of you will. Dang, that's really sad. <laughs> like it's less. No, it's it's, it's half, half of incoming freshmen will graduate in four years, um, and half of like typically drop out after that first year, uh, and it's higher for for boys. You're more likely to drop out of college if you're a boy. Yes, they make more money, but whatever. No, it's just that. Well, because, like, you know, they're in high school, they're like, you want somebody to take care of you. What year are you living in? 1950? Oh, no, um, uh, I Like, most of you think that if you get married, you will, like, stay married. Half of you will get divorced. Aw. Um, well, actually, it's, um, like, 48% now. So that is I'm going to round that up to 50. So, 48%, basically, if it's not you, it's your spouse. But, like, it's not, yeah. that's not like a good marriage vote, right? Like, if you get married, yeah, if you have an arranged marriage, I guess you're going to have a less chance of getting divorced. I don't know. Um, but, you know, good luck on that arranged marriage. Uh, half of you, okay, so like half of you will drop out of college, half of you will get divorced, and then half of those half of the divorce will get double divorced. Which is the math. It's like 12.5% of people in here, which is basically like one person, um, will be a double divorced college dropout. Oh, but no one in here thinks it's done. More like uh, like all of us. I mean, this is like a huge but it, it's more like that all of us graduate college and like not in psychology. That is true. That is true. But that's also a stereotype based on you know, the representation of an AP student is smart and a regular student is dumb. Yeah, I mean, there are some regular students that are smarter than AP students that just want to be high. It's, it's, it's not half of like AP psychology, yes. Right. So um, it's it's not actually like, not representative right. of those. You're right, you're right, it's not. Um, it is representative of your call, of your high school class, but not of the this particular class. <laughs> That's true. But, you know, you can still do it, right? Right, right. We believe that you will screw up two relationships. Drop out of college, drop. still be successful. Right. Yeah, successful. Okay, so here's the thing about like, okay, so we're overconfident. We think that we're smarter than we are. We, everyone here thinks they're, they're at least in five. Like, pretty, pretty ugly. Oh. <laughs> they're at least in five. A point five. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not to not argue. Um, no, y'all are y'all are smarter, y'all are better, you're whatever. You, I've been average, you think, but, but that's can't be true. Why do all like the one like really got rid of myself? No, sometimes. No. Yeah, I, I like it. You know, sometimes people just put on makeup because like they like enjoy doing it. Right, like it's like a it's like a satisfying thing, not really more of a I want to feel pretty today. I don't know. I'm I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I put makeup on because I'm at work and it's professional. If I was to not have makeup on, people would be like, Do you have the flu? And I'd be like, No, I just don't have makeup. And all day long, they'd be like, No, I'm not sick. No, my face is normally not as blotchy. And, yeah. But do you like put on, do you put on makeup to please other people or do you put on makeup to please yourself more? Yeah, because like on the weekend, I don't put on makeup. I think I like used to do because like, my sister used to do it, so I used to do that to like be more like her. And like now I do for the same thing if I want to. Well, look, you just said something. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing about 
us being dumb, and really overconfident, and we make stupid choices like they're a hick and they're like whatever, and this one's a nerd and this that one's a terrorist and whatever. So this is another thing called confirmation bias. Oh my gosh, it's like this is just okay. Arno, can you read this? It says uh, the rhetoric from both sides. Wait, I've heard rhetoric from both sides. It's time to do my own research to find the real truth. Like logs into Google. It's literally the first link that agrees with you. That you already <laughs> believe that you're like, yes. Okay, so this is basically Facebook. Uh, oh. It is. It is. It, it really is. is. If I keep saying like by accused of censoring to side with Trump and Republicans. Yes. Um, it is, it, yeah, it's confirmation bias, which is the tendency for us to search for information that already agrees with us. Facebook does suck. Facebook does suck. Facebook does suck. Facebook does suck. Like, you can't stop. Like, once you're in, you can't cancel your account. Yeah, like you can't do the same thing with Instagram. Like you can delete everything with your Instagram account. You can still have oh, I know it's not. No, you can delete your Instagram account. You can like deactivate it. No, you can delete it. You can delete it. I deleted the account. Okay. So, um, I am a person, and I watch the news. If I'm a Republican, which uh, news? Uh, like, okay, Fox. Um, and then everything. And then if I'm a Democrat, what do I watch? CNN. CNN or MSNBC. Um, but then you're watching the news, and oh my God, everything is right. Nothing they say upsets you, because everything they say, you believe them. And you are just confirming your own bias. Basically, you are watching the news and patting yourself on the back for already knowing all the news, because it's exactly what you believe. And they even did this study, I'm sure if I can find it somewhere. Oh, no, I, oh, I, I, I have to log in. Um, but it showed it was like red and blue. So uh, which one Republican and which one is Democrat? Red is Republican. Red is Republican, blue is Democrat. That's just the colors of the party. So there was a Republican, and I'll even do it like on the right. So here, oh, come on, I just everything. Okay, there was a, a basically I'm showing you a, an image that I found on like a on like a website. Like, 
they might read it without reading with an open mind. They're reading it to find problems with the article or problems with the information. Or, yeah, people typically don't read information and they're like, wow, I totally have changed my mind and perspective on the world. Thank you for sharing this Facebook article with me. I am now a whatever. Yeah. Try not to do this. Try not to confirm your own belief. You are just, because think about how wrong we are. We think that person's a nerd, and that person's a terrorist, and this person is whatever, and how overconfident we are, and then we, like, just pat ourselves on the back for... It's kind of like the anti vaxxer no! Oh, yes. Yes. No, this so like, I didn't I didn't vaccine my child and they died. Please comfort me and my Yes, I see that. Or like no. please tell me I did a good job. My child is dead and I, it's because I chose not to vaccinate them, but they died of like a cold or something. Oh, and yeah. and then Carl like, but tell me and I'm like, I'm gonna tell you there is something. She's like, I don't I don't wanna vaccinate my child, but people are giving me a hard time and please like come here and give me advice and then there's she's like, they're like three or four years old, and so they're talking like, oh, three or four years old, she's like, this is the whole life or something. Whole life. Because like, because like, on cold, like, when like vaccines when they did like, get like, three or four, it's like the max that like, children used to live. Yeah. So it's like, oh, they lived a full life, like they got their heads. Yeah. You know? So whatever the topic is, whether it be vaccines or global warming or uh, walls or whatever, um, please look at both sides. And then with an open mind, I can tell you to do this, but even when I'm I'm reading things, I'm like, yeah, it's probably wrong. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I, don't know. I think we're done. I think I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know what's so really good? Um, like both sides of the story. It's like a middle ground. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah